Hello, citizens of Gotham. You are watching The Political Vigilante, and you're all making Gotham great again. So, David Koch died. One of the Koch brothers died at age 79. And how did the corporate mainstream media paint him? To call him out for all of him and his brother's awful, you know, crimes against the climate and hijacking politics. How did they paint, how did the corporate media paint this billionaire oil lobby psychopath? Gregarious, socially prominent New Yorker who loved the ballet and saw his name emblazoned on the Manhattan institutions on which some of his 1.2 billion in charitable gifts were bestowed. This is from the New York Times. Yeah. The corporate media loves it when a billionaire, they're going to, oh, he's so, he's so awful, awesome. They're not talking about the Koch brothers have almost single-handedly paid for climate change denial. Gee, that's not in, that's not in here. It's, oh, 1.2 billion in charitable gifts. Let's be real clear on what this type of philanthropy is. The Koch brothers made billi tens of billions of dollars, maybe more, hundreds, I don't know. They could have changed people's lives. They could have been the front runners to save us, the human race, from complete climate collapse. Instead, they spent all this money to hijack the Republican Party, basically, and fund climate change denial. And then they do what this is called greenwashing. They give, oh, they buy a theater, or they put their name on a museum or something like that, or an endowment for the rich people to have a, you know, a fundraiser in Manhattan where so many ruling class jack wagons live. You know, that's Trump town up there in Manhattan. That's how they painted him. Let's find out who he really was. Uh, he and his brother Charles funded a decades-long effort to roll back environmental and business regulations. What? See, that's weird. That's not in this. Saw his name emblazoned on. So that's just ruling class, rich person. I got to stick my name on everything. See, I, it's me. I did it. Nye, nye, nye. He rolled back climate legislation. By all accounts, David played second fiddle to his brother Charles in both the family company and the brother's political strategizing. But the two worked together closely in their decades-long effort aimed at rolling back environmental and business regulations and at voting Democrats out of office. This is in Vox, so, you know, to, yeah. They hijacked the Republican Party. And they also paid off some Democrats, too. Plenty of Democrats took their money and ruin the environment. Amazon's on fire, by the way. Uh, policies aimed at reining in carbon emissions and combating climate change would generally be bad for the Cokes, so they fought any such proposal tooth and nail. Two rich kid evil dicks that have spent their life ruining the earth, and one of them's dead. Good riddance. I hope Charles sees how happy people are that his brother are dead. Now you know what people feel like when you die, because you guys are part of the problem. You're the ruling class. You are oil people. So instead of going, you, here's what you could have done, Charles. You and your brother could have gone, wow, all this oil investment we have, you know, oil is bad for the environment. Why don't we lead the way in changing the oil lobby into green energy? Why don't we lead the way? so that our grandchildren have a planet to live on. Nope, like any good, greedy, ruling class, billionaire, sack of shit, you just double down on your awful, filthy business and ruin people's lives so you could fly around in private jets. Your brother's dead. He's dead. That's his legacy. Everybody hates him. David Koch built a toxic empire with human consequences. David Koch is dead, but the Koch Colossus lives on. Your awful empire ruining the earth. See, all that billions didn't save your brother's life, and it's not going to save yours, Charles. Fortune was amassed atop staggering EPA violations and a wrongful death judgment. Huh. We're going to get in that in a second. 1.2 charitable. Oh, and you think that you can buy your way into heaven? No, 
No, you're in, your brother's in hell right now. Coke Industries has not only been a leading polluter of America's air, water, and climate, it has a criminal record and paid record-setting fines for fouling the environment. What's it like being such a soulless, maggot-ridden corporatist that you just are so greedy that you all you know how to do is hijack the system to get what you want, which in the end is bad for you because even being a filthy, soulless billionaire, you still need breathable air and drinkable water to survive. If I were to die today, I know I'm good. I've led a good, I'm not perfect, but I've led a good life. I've tried to help people. I tried to make the world a better place. You can't say that and neither can your dead, dumb brother. You're gonna die soon too, Charles, and you're gonna be in the afterlife having God punch you in the throat repeatedly for ruining this precious planet that God created. <laughs> Danielle Smalley, the teenager, was incinerated with a friend while fleeing a butane leak from a decrepit Coke Industries operated pipeline in 1996. Weird, that wasn't in the New York Times obituary about the generous guy who loved to dance and put his dick name on everything. If I was responsible for one, I, I would, I, I don't know, I couldn't live with myself. But that's the thing with a ruling class. You can't shame them. They are sociopaths. They are sociopaths. Even if these guys had no connection to the Epstein pedophile sex trafficking ruling class, they're still part of the ultra greedy, ruin everybody's life, amass every extra penny that they can. I mean, they would step in just, if, if killing a puppy put an extra dollar in their pocket, they would do it. They don't care. You can't shame these people. You need to make them afraid. Make them afraid. So hits the, the woman that they uh, helped kill, the pickup she tried to drive away in, it seems, sparked the leaking fuel, creating a firebomb that burned for hours. Smalley's death led to the then largest wrongful death judgment in U.S. history, later settled by Coke Industries on undisclosed terms. Spent money on lawyers to probably try to discredit it and not pay as much, even though you could write a check for hundreds of millions of dollars. So you killed someone and then you had to still settle out of court because you couldn't have it in court. That'd be bad for business. I'm so sick of this. I don't care what it is. If it's oil lobby people, if it's Joe Paterno saying, hey, we got to keep the Sandusky thing quiet for 13 years because it'll hurt our football program. I'm so done with it. I'm so done with you filthy, greeting, ruling class people. I'm really done with it. I'm glad he's dead. He didn't help this planet. And neither is his brother Charles. And neither all the filthy politicians that they've paid off, all the fake studies they've had done saying climate change isn't happening. Oh, really? Explain that to the people all these cancer clusters by all of your, your refinery and your plants and all that stuff. Explain that to that woman's family. August 24th was the 1996, so we just passed the 23-year anniversary of her death. That's the legacy of the Koch brothers. Not through the eyes of the corporate media, but through the eyes of the political vigilante. You're smart enough to get your news on YouTube and I need your support because I don't have a rich daddy that gave me an endowment because he was a filthy, whatever, gun-running Nazi or whatever the Koch brothers' dad was. I'm sure he was some horrifying moron. So support this show at rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. It is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. And also patreon.com slash Graham Elwood. Come see us on the road. Go to uh, GrahamElwood.com for all my tour dates. We're going to be in Omaha, Sioux Falls, Madison, Wisconsin, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and Iowa City, Iowa, September 4th through the 8th. Uh, I will be in Moscow the 20th of September, St. Petersburg the 27th, doing stand-up. And Ron Placone and I will be doing the Progressive Comedy Tour down under November 14th, Melbourne, November 15th, Adelaide, the 17th, Sydney, and the 22nd, we will be in Perth. Some of those days off, I'll be surfing. 
Um, so join us on the road and remember the ruling class is evil and we are the, well, there's more of us than there are of them. Shave your knuckles for justice. Thanks for watching.